Welcome to How To Videos from Bugspray.com. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use the trombone sprayer. And the way this product works, the end of the sprayer, the hose end, is going to go into a bucket. And you basically uh, operate this very much like someone would operate a trombone. Okay, in order to use the sprayer, you're going to want to take the end of the hose and submerge it in the five gallon bucket. I suppose you could use a one gallon, I happen to have a five. And then clip it to the side of the bucket. That'll keep the hose in place when you attempt to use it. So in order to use this, you're going to need a bucket. You want the product inside the bucket, clip the hose to the bucket with the end of the hose submerged in the product. Okay, I'm about uh, 26 feet from the top of this uh, area that I want to treat. And I'm going to try to make sure that I don't spray the window at the same time. So I'm going to work my way up to the area that I want to cover. Okay, a couple things I wanted to point out. This puts out a lot of product fairly quickly, which would make it really uh, a good tool for applying on a tree uh, or even a, a you know a bushy type tree like this. Uh, it can also be adjusted in to be a more coarse kind of spray, uh, even a mist. But what I found while I was trying to treat that high area is that I am getting a lot of uh, a lot of overspray coming back down on me. So you want to make sure, uh, like I did towards the end of that, step back away from the area you're treating and don't try to shoot straight up. I was just using water because it was my first time using this and I, I wanted to make sure that uh, it did what I thought it would do. And it will shoot as high as I need it to. It'll shoot, uh, it seems like about 30 feet from the uh, sidewalk. I was able to shoot about 30 feet. But be cognizant of the fact that you do not want to be shooting straight up because a lot of product will come back down on you if you do that. So at the very least make sure you're covered up well and uh, you have some sort of face shield on. And I hope you enjoyed watching this how-to video from Bugspray.com.